Let's try this again, part two. I do apologize for that. That's not the first time we've had tech issues, but we'll figure it out. Had to restart some equipment, and it also looks like I'm having a lot of frames dropped. Um, and I think that that's just a result of the internet overload going on right now. Um, there are a lot of people without internet, and I'm fortunate to have it, but there are, as a result, overloaded internet for those that do have it. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm going to restart, play the loop uh, that you guys heard. I've already made my way a little bit into it, but um, here's the main loop, uh, and then I will show you what I got so far. So that's that's the loop I'm working with this time, and here's what I've here's what we started with. I cut some of the instrumentation down. Um, so what we're what we're starting with is um, just a couple of the arps, and then everything else comes in.
So I've added, a, I've already added the clap, I added some reverb to it. I have an impact in there as you can hear, uh, and then a riser effect. Those are all stuff that I've added. Um, and as you heard me mess, messing around with the lead, I think I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. I need to figure it out though. It's because it's one one five three. So. Something, something like in that realm right there, uh, it'll be kind of cool and dramatic, and then what we'll end up doing is bringing, um, bringing everything down again, uh, and then into something a little bit, for lack of a better term, sweeter, not, you know, not so aggressive and, and cinematic, uh, I gotta, I gotta do, redo my math on this one, because technically the three is supposed to be here. Yes, yes, no, maybe so. So it's it's one. Right there will be where the, okay, I got it. I got it. So it would actually be something like, Which it, it might sound ab abrupt and and everything, but uh, it, it does the job. And then we're not gonna do lead any leading tones, I guess, uh, down to the five, just because it has different energy. We'll see what it sounds like. Add a pad on that second part just to really bring it up and then we'll maybe we'll save it we'll at least get the part down and then that way we can move it later if need be you know how music works so I, well, I'll have to automate the volume a little bit here just to bring these these parts down right here um, as it kind of comes out of it so that we can kind of create the oops, uh, the sweeter part as I guess again I, I just I, I need a better word than sweeter but um, I, you get the point so And what we'll also do is that little lead into that we have before, we'll take that out. Um, because we don't we don't need it for that. We'll just put these two together as one. This bass is cool, but it, it I don't uh, it might need I might need to adjust it like where how where I use it and how often maybe like save it for a verse 
Um, yeah, so let, we'll move right into the, uh, the, the, I guess verse, you can call it. This whole thing's been one long intro, but it's kind of been a, it's, um, it's been an intro, but it's, it serves as like an early reprise. So essentially what, what happens is you play a little bit of the chorus in the intro, um, and then that same part later comes back and it it just uh, it just helps carry the theme a little bit. So we're going to choose kicks, but again, we don't always have the best selection, so we're going to pray for a good one. Oh gosh. Well, you know, that'll be cool to add underneath the impact, but it's another one of those use sparingly things. Like just about every one of those kicks sounds like it's part of a dubstep kit. I'm not really sure why they couldn't have more variation, um, but I didn't make it. I just use it. So it's my job to to pick good ones and use it appropriately. It's just so, it's just so weird. Uh, kind of like one of these. Probably this one, it's less punchy. We're not going for a punchy part. Drums, it, drums, like knocking drums are, are great for certain parts. Uh, what we want for this particular part is something less, I guess. Kind of slowly bring it in. Or not. I don't. I don't know that I like that at all. We'll just. We'll. We'll. Break the seal. What's the. What's the term? Just. Get it over with. Just bring it in. That's not what I had in mind. We need to fix that again. Shorten it even further, apparently. We're at 130 BPM, by the way. Uh, so somewhat fast, not too fast. It's, it's moderated. So we'll start. We'll start with something simple. Now we got to figure out what to bring down, where to bring out, all the way. Probably do not need the ARPs, the arpeggiators, these things, they're super busy. We can always bring those back in later as we start to build things. Um, we can probably keep that one. Those are probably too much. What about the... Again, one of those things we can bring in. So now we got to go searching. This is where epic cloud formations, that part, uh, might come in handy. Um... I want to build out actual chords, though, probably. It's a really cool uh, synth that I like. Um, it just isn't super... It's busy, so it's not always the best thing to use, but... For my purposes... It's supposed to be one three. No, one five. Not three. I just did, I did three. No, I did five. Which one did I do? Technically, that's five. Jeez. I am not a piano player at all. We'll get this, though. We will get this. If it's the last thing we do. <laughs> I got it, but I'm a beat late. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to have to do what I always do, which is just start piecing things together and, like, do all this manually, and that's fine. If you if you got to do that, you got to do that. As long as the sound of the song comes together in the end, I don't think people really necessarily uh, care too much about how it was done. 
except these all need to end after two measures and not carry a measure over. I liked the chord that I was playing. It's technically not a full chord, but it's got common notes in it, and that is the F, the one of all of it. Since everything is so busy, keeping the one consistent. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So it doesn't, you know, and then the other thing that this will allow us to do is, since the next chord is A flat, um, or would be A flat, uh, it allows, come on, quantize yourself. Thank you. It allows uh, for a bit more movement room without going all over the place. We're, we'll build this one together. See, technically the five is going to be, uh, I can't even see, E flat, but I don't, I don't know how I feel about it going up, since technically it's supposed to go down. How does that sound in context, if I just put it with everything? Like, with everything. sound bad. Again, all of this is super busy, super dramatic, and that's the point. No vocals on this one. Last week we did a, a really cool vocal chop loop, and we made something to that, and that was, that was decent. I don't know. Next, next will be the one again, so the question is, do I just want to do the same one I did? Probably. Bro, if you don't... Option click... Okay, you're just gonna be a jerk. There we go. And then it would be back down to the five, and the five, or up, up, back up to the three, excuse me, and then hold at the five. It's super repetitive, but we're gonna get away with it by, come on, by incorporating different sounds so this way people don't kind of hear it and then say like I'm bored after a minute <laughs> I guess that'll be kind of what we do, but uh, man, I need, I need something less than that. Hmm. We'll, we'll get down the road. Let's get, let's work on some drums. That's what I'm good at. I don't think, uh, I think it's. I think it's this one actually. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Kind of have an idea that I, I want to do it. Let's also get the hats and the, excuse me, the claps, the hats. These are claps, not hats. Let's get these in place so that we can kind of hear how it goes together. What I want to do, really, is... It'll be, since it's a softer kick, it'll still be, uh... Do this. Nope, not that quick. I want eighth notes, not sixteenth. I think it's right here, maybe. So that's a little. Is that a little four? That's a four bar beat thing. Four beat, four bar thing. Yeah. 
Well, what what we usually do is so four bar loops, eight bar loops tend to be a little bit short. So what we end up doing is always you can you can repeat the first three beats of it, but then for every fourth beat, uh. Yeah, Captain Kirkland. Yeah, I'm actually just getting started. Uh, welcome in, welcome into the stream, man. Um, and um, much appreciate you being here, being here on your on your Saturday. Um, we're starting with uh, this little loop that I got found online somewhere, and just kind of building. You're gonna try and build an EDM song with it. Um, hope you stick around, man. If you got any ideas, shoot them in the chat, and we'll see how they sound. So uh, what you usually do every fourth bar is is my, uh, um, kind of make some edits so that um, yeah there we go so that it, it just gives something different from uh, what you would hear and then that way you have variation every eight bars instead of four it's it, it, the list goes on so see how this transitions from the main loop. Gotta add a ton more to this. I think what we'll and then what we'll do is we will bring that that oops that arp that you heard, arpeggiator that you heard way back in. Uh, we'll bring that. We'll go ahead and bring that back. Um, just to help build it in the second half. So it'll, it'll we'll bring in some hats too as well. But um, let's see. What's funny is I ended up cutting a synth bass I had before, and I might end up just bringing that back because having the two different bases will also keep it there. Sometimes what I like to do is have two bases on one track. One of them provides the, the sub frequencies, the lower ones, and one of them just provides texture. That's too high. We got something. We got something that we're working with here, and then uh, see how that sounds. Actually, these can't overlap. The weird thing about some of these instruments is if they overlap, it changes what's known as the attack on it, and so it kind of warps it. So, like, if I did just this, those two notes had attack, but if I layered them, what you hear is more of a sweep. See, it's more of a sweep in the in the uh, the note, which is kind of weird. It's not what I'm going for here. I'm not saying you can't do that. It sounds awesome when used in the right way. Go back in. We're just adding the harmonics, the foundational layers of this. We're getting, we're getting, working on these, uh, these builds up into the main melody. Because there's the melody then. Um, and that's when everything else would come back in. We'll get there. Idiot, I mean, I've had tracks that have had 40 stems to them. It's a lot. you got to build them. So we'll listen from, from the beginning where we have. That, that'll help regenerate what we want.
I gotta add some more. I, I was going back and listening. I think I want to add a... I want to add more. Like, I want all... I think all four of these to go through. And then I gotta find that kick that I, I had that I played that... I think I said, where was it? Yeah, they said that it would like, it would sound good. With the impact? Forgot what it was. Forgot what number it was. This is a problem, they're all numbered. There it is. Instead of like, giving me names of them, I guess, that describe what they are. Oops. They give me numbers, and the problem is they're never in order either. So this together, let's see what this sounds like. I need a, I need to build another one. Where is it? It's gonna go right here. Nope, that's not it. Not quite it. Close, but not quite it. Now I gotta zoom in really far, make sure I'm not cutting the wavelength off in the wrong spot so it doesn't clip. I could just use the fade tool, but the problem that that creates over time is I gotta keep switching back and forth in between them, and that's just a hassle. Especially when I'm trying to be... I'm trying to keep workflow going a little bit, then it's just annoying. Alright. This will work. Man, it's still not enough. Yeesh. Can't win out here. It's actually subdivision one less. There we go. It's a uh, 16. I'm usually very good at judging the rhythmic stuff right off the bat. I grew up drumming for 16 years, but sometimes we all have our slip ups. <laughs> Right there is where the next one would go. I might even let those go here, like go at the end as well, just so that it leads in. We'll see how that sounds real quick. Oops, I messed up happens to the best of us. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it's way off. <laughs> it's too much. Too much. If we're going to have a kick in there, you're going to have a kick in there and you're going to only have one. You only get one. You don't get two, you don't get three, you get one. It's being difficult for me today. Option click is just not working. <laughs> so we have everything kind of up until the drop and 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 it's a work in progress still, but we'll we'll figure it out. Need some hats in there. The trick for this piece is going to be to control the energy of it because we have so many busy elements. Uh, it's almost tough to to balance that the same way as you would, you know, if you had a vocal on it because the the rise and fall of a verse to a chorus. Um, 
allows you to do that. But okay, that's not it. Uh, but in this case, since there isn't any any lyrics or anything like that, it just becomes a little bit tricky to to still have the same emphasis put on different sections. I believe what I'm looking for is this one. I don't know, maybe that, maybe it's this one. I like this one in general. It's uh, this, this hat here, whoops. That needs to be on its own channel, or not. Your own, come on, get down here. I'm telling you, man, Logic is trying my patience today. OBS is trying my patience, Twitch is trying my patience, Every, all of my technology today is trying my patience. So we're going to have some hats, just a, just a loose part, I think, maybe. Oh my lord. That's not what I wanted. Uh, just a loose part, kind of like something subtle, and then... Um, that way we can have, if we need to, if we want to, have something more complex for the chorus. Here's what I need to do though, I need to figure out. I'm gonna have to do this the, the, the long way because audio is tricky. The only way truly to randomize audio the same way, the same way we do um, with MIDI is to import it into the sampler. And I'm on a computer that does not have a sampler, and the other computer has it. But the other computer is really old and has trouble keeping up with everything that I do. So I mainly use it when I have to. And if I'm just gonna have to do this the hard way, I'm just gonna have to do this the hard way. Music isn't made without blood, sweat, and tears. I don't like this hat after all. <laughs> oh, that worked just to not have the hat. Uh, um, we'll go searching again. I might, I might have to just dive into Ableton just to somehow sample an audio from it or something. I don't know. It's okay. Some of these streams last for one hour. Some of these streams last for two hours, and these are exactly why. Because we end up having to do stupid stuff like this. <laughs> stuff that there was no way to prep beforehand, really. Unless you're good, and you know exactly what you're going to be doing. But that's not the point. The point is to have those of you at home watching contribute. If you have ideas, or you, you think something should be said, done a certain way, you can contribute. You can say something in the chat. Or you can, what the, is this the right one? Is this the right one? It is, it just sounds weird, okay. And the automation data did not copy over, so we're gonna have to do it again. It's not bad. Either way, um, That is what is most difficult process in music production. Hopefully, my feet are freezing right now. Is anybody else house, even with the heat on, just like still abnormally cold? I'm wearing two layers of socks and really warm slippers and my feet are still cold for some reason. Make it make sense. Add in a little variation here. Come on. Oh, that's right. That didn't come from the second one. Okay. All right. Right here are these two. Oops. These two are just so that we can. Okay. Clearly. Okay. There we go. Yes. Did that one 
too far. This one's going to be. And usually what I like to do is when I start out, so like these are like these are the verse sections. I start out with the melody, but it's a modulated melody so that What ends up happening is I ha I can add stuff like oops, like a clap and and that way it starts to build. That needs to be fixed because you cannot do drums accurately on a computer keypad. All I'm doing is typing and it's not that easy. And then I put my favorite plugin, Wider, because Logic stock plugins don't really have the good versions of stuff, so it sounds like. It makes it sound bigger. For whatever reason, that didn't. I forgot to loop that. Give it some. If I could play guitar, like if I could play guitar and I, or I knew anybody, like and I had somebody over that was playing guitar, like uh, that would be this would be a great song to have guitar on. But I don't play guitar. I don't own a guitar. And <laughs> uh, let's take out that hat then. Uh, it. We're in the middle of a pandemic, so it's not like I'm just going to have people over the house. Why is it? I don't for whatever reason, that feels like it doesn't start right on time, but whatever. This is what we can... We'll have to go back and do this, but there's some cool modulation effects that I can I can play with doing um, that will allow me to like to to like I can put distortion on some of these stuffs and then increase the drives as it goes on, so that what ends up happening is um, it just it kind of it builds into it a little bit better, so that we're not only relying on volume automation to do the trick for us. Obviously, that's where the the a chorus will come back in, and we're not gonna have that only be what the chorus sounds like. We're gonna we'll increase stuff in. Maybe we, we can we can probably get away with bringing back the impacts and just no kick in it first, and then we'll bring the kick in later. So. <laughs> Start off with quarter notes with the kick. Oops. How about we start off by copying the right amount of notes? I swear, man, sometimes the easiest things just slip your mind. These aren't really quarter notes. Uh, these are these are technically they're whole notes, but they're depending on how you feel the song, they're half notes too. Music is confusing, isn't it? Um. The way, the way, just in a brief snapshot, uh, this is at 130 BPM, and technically 130 BPM is, is this, is, that's the quarter note. If you don't want to feel it by the quarter note, and you want, you just want to feel it by a half note, then, um, it's technically at 65. 
So this is the quarter note at 65, the kick is. Um, excuse me, that's, that's, that's a half note at uh, 65 BPM, but that's a whole note at 130. It's complicated. to hang on yeah it's gonna do just these yep get out of here we're gonna switch it to eighth notes uh, here And then I think that's where everything's going to cut off and sweep into the what's commonly referred to in music in, or in, in, uh, in the EDM world as the drop in any world, really. Oh, God. I think Logic does this just to spite me. It knows exactly what I'm doing. And it just wants to annoy me. And that's where we bring back everything that we had before, except for the impacts. But everything else that was part of the loop, because this loop isn't really necessarily melodic. It's only, it's more of a soundscape. And then that's where I think I bring in the other hat that I had. Um, oops. Uh before kind of in there Just sounds weird yeah, come on come on little guy you can do it I swear, man. I swear. We're going to have to do this one again the hard way because technically I wanted these to be 16th notes. And the other problem, I think, is those are definitely not 16th notes. Uh, those are far from 16th notes. This is going to have. This is gonna be a lot of work. Huh. It's going to be a lot of work. Because this right here is technically 16th notes. That's just super annoying though. So that's where we go in and I, I basically say, okay, well, I'll set this up and I will just edit the automation so that um, at certain points of that pattern, it's louder and at certain points, it's quieter. The long way, and I can do this you know, later when I have more than enough time to spare, would be to take that sample and put it into the into the sampler and then record it as MIDI and then that way I can do everything that I wanted to do. What I'm looking to do is randomize velocity and the purpose of that is, I'll let you know, the purpose of that is um, it makes it sound more human and that's what we want is despite this being produced instruments we want something that's as natural sounding as possible and we can't do that if or uh, unless we do all of this extra steps. And I want to probably add the other hat back in with it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. we got to listen to it a bunch of times and then see what we're feeling. So here's what we got from start to finish so far.
something there. So I need to add something there. So we, we also need to add, I think, a second clap to help the build. I'm not, I don't know why, I'm just not feeling a snare. Snares are, are cool, but I feel like they're for more aggressive builds. This one's supposed to be soft, but I've had a devil of a time creating that Come on. without any acoustic instruments. It isn't, you can do it without like guitar and everything, but it's certainly a really nice benefit to uh, to have a guitar and to know how to play it and to have an actual bass or to have an actual uh, whatever else there is. For starters, for software with some better instrumentation than I have, um, but even you know even moving beyond that you know i know some phenomenal keyboard players that you know if you gave them something from keyscape they would just be able to put together just these absolutely beautiful progressions and patterns and i didn't start taking key or, or, or piano keyboard lessons till i got to college and that was just like 2 years ago and actually you need to be cut this last two this last three i don't know it's just this last two this is what it sounds like. This. Maybe you need to do a different clap. I don't know. That one didn't sound as strong as I thought it was going to sound. Maybe, maybe it's that one instead. We'll just do that one. Bye bye. A lot of this is trial and error for me, just because you know, especially like making music in front of people on live streams. Um, when I do it behind the scenes, I pretty much just, you know, I spend hours listening to the same loop and sitting there and thinking about what I can come up with. But I'm not gonna do that here. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go off the fly, off the top of my head, and then see what sounds good when we put it together. <laughs> gotta figure out something to make that build more I think we also have to find it we still have to find a snare drum I think to, to fit with that um, where is my there it is chorus effect Let's see how this sounds it's gonna be up around Let's do 4k <laughs> Right about there sounds good. Probably has to increase the rhythm, maybe that's why. Build some anticipation, make people excited to hear the drop. Ready for 16th notes yet? Possibly. We'll see how it all sounds when we put it in. 
I don't even know if that's the right one. Let's. Ah. Uh, I know what happened. There we go. Simple math. Sixteenth notes happen. Sixteen times in a measure. And if you have four beats in the measure, four times four is sixteen. So that means every beat needs to have four sixteen notes. Unless we have apparently <laughs> two of them got forgotten. I'm not sure how that happened, but two of them managed to totally not get put in there. It sounds weird and empty and just incomplete, and we're, I promise we're getting on there. The other thing I can do, uh, there's this really cool um, thing I showed it last week. I'll show it again. Um, you just essentially put e EQ on it. You put kind of one band down. And then as it builds, it sweeps like that. And layered when it's layered like with a reverse or riser effect uh it sounds pretty cool um so we'll see what it sounds like first and then and and then we'll we'll if we need to we can easily erase automation and we'll just cancel it um but we'll see what it sounds like paired with the uh with this little riser effect thing and then if it, mm, no, it's not what we wanted. If it sounds like total garbage, then we will just leave it out and we'll figure out something else. Come on. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Not quite. So close. So close, but not quite. Story of my life. So close, yet so far. <laughs> Actually, this needs to be here because what I'm thinking is whatever snare I end up using in the uh, uh, the chorus section will hit right here. So this is what you hear. Right there, right where that. Duh. And then, we can we can steal the same kick pattern that we had before. Also, um, there's no pressure to do two different kick patterns all the time. There's just, you just got to figure out when to put the kick in and when to take it out to create the same variation. You don't want to just hear the kick snare hat all the time. And now's where we go find a snare. Snares. We want these snares. Some of these are really trappy. I do have a good software instrument snare um, that if used properly, it sounds great. I think it's this one. No, is it this one? Yeah, so it's this one right here. But I might have to layer it with the clap, see how that works. And then I definitely need to have some reverb on it. Uh, otherwise, it just sounds dry. So here's what we'll do. First of all, we'll record this. Okay, for some reason it didn't record. See, right there, that just sounds so dry, it's not even funny. And the solution to that is reverb, usually. If you're recording actual instruments, it's never reverb. The solution to that is fix your snare. <laughs> and 
uh, record maybe with better likes. It used to be maxed out. Too. What we're gonna have to do first things first. Let's record the next phrase. All the mixing that has to be done, by the way, I really don't like doing in Logic, because Logic is just not, it's it's great for mixing, um, uh, if you don't have Pro Tools, but I have Pro Tools, and I love Pro Tools, and I prefer Pro Tools, have I mentioned that I have Pro Tools, um, and so I like to do all my mixing there, it just, just better, ten times, thousand times better, I have my own issues with every DAW that I use, but, um, 10 times out of 10, I'll mix on, on Pro Tools if I can. See, like, there's still all kinds of balancing and mixing that needs to be done. The arpeggiators need to be brought down. The... You know, um, strings, all that stuff needs to be brought down. Everything just needs to, to kind of give way. And I think we might even just do this. And just, yeah, we might, we might have to just bring this last note back. So it ends with everything else. I mean, if I have to, I'll explore. Oops, that was too far. Uh, if I have to, I will explore layering this sound with another... Um, but that's if I absolutely have to, we'll get there when we have more of a structure to it. Still sounds very empty. And we're working on that. We're working on that, trust me. Here's what it sounds like from start to finish. I might go a completely different direction, who knows? I might, I might just go a completely different direction there. I might even uh, just stick with like quarter notes or half notes, whatever you want to call them. Whatever they are, they, they happen at a less frequent pace than I currently have it. And I might just cut the claps there. I'll have to decide on whether or not I want to keep that pad. This is probably super nice to play guitar and have a guitar and be able to, because this would go gray here, but work with what you got. And we're, we're not keeping this kick pattern. And what may end up happening is that synth that I have in the chorus part may just be used uh sparingly it, like it may just be used as another layer to the storm that happens in you know, the cloud in the storm another layer whatever it, it's used as another layer uh and that way it's not overwhelming and we'll, we'll we'll get there we already have so many layers going on with this that we just have to be smart about it
throw the kick pattern back in actually and let's just see That's what happened. I was like, wait a minute, something disappeared there. I don't even think I need hats there then. I think we can cut those. I can't do this in Logic as easy as I can in Pro Tools, but what I kind of want to do is take either some of these arps or like those strings and reverse them. Or maybe the vocals right here. I really just want to reverse. I want, I want to, whatever the lead may be, whatever it is, it's going to have to end up being something that's reversed so it kind of sweeps into every single hit uh something something cool with that i don't have those instruments though i'm working off of three different daws at once and that's not <laughs> It's, this has got to be more exciting, I think, than that. That's so disappointing when I get to the drop. It's like, what the heck? That's kind of why I'm like, I'll use the arps as layer and the bass and everything as a layer. I might cut out these two right here and then... It's just a drop then, it's just a, mm, like, ah, I can't even, I can't even make the noise of my mouth, like, I can't even, like, beatbox it. This right here, I would much prefer to be, have a guitar, and a guitar, like, appreciating, sort of. But I don't have, listen to the guitar instruments that I have. They're just not good. This is your regular amped, or, or, or excuse the guitar, excuse me. It's just, they're not that good. I can probably do a lot of modulation to like this and make it sound good. But like here here I'll 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 try it. I will for for my own sake I will try it. But if not, if 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 I have an option I much prefer to use a real guitar. And we're not gonna do that pattern at all. That's 
not even the right notes. I messed up. Okay, it's five and then three. Three and then five the second time around. Oh. That's still not right. Jeez. Sheesh. So essentially, what we'd have is this little pattern right here. First things first, I kind of got to leave all the notes short because the first thing I have to do is put a lot of reverb on it. And not a lot. I say a lot, but I, I didn't mean like a super extravagant amount. I just meant so much so that if, if the notes had natural sustain on them like they do now, it would be kind of messed up it would get really muddy you wouldn't be able to tell it wouldn't be as clean and we're gonna have to just literally spend a lot of time listening to this loop over and over again it sounds so terrible Probably lower the velocity of those since they're not actually real hits. Oh my god. See what I mean? It sounds so bad. We'll let it sit as a placeholder for now, but. Like, I take an EQ and take out all the low end. There's no reason we need the low end. Like, and then what I can do is I'll take out this pad for right now. Again, if I really want to, I can just like just super distort it almost, or I mean, not even. Just distortion would not help here at all. I just, I mean, I can fatten it. I can fatten it, but even that comes with distortion. Maybe I do need to bring the sustain back because even with a slight amount of reverb on it, a lot of guitars, the notes carry in themselves. The idea is when you play guitar, if you play the individual notes on the strings, you're literally building the chord out. If you want to build a, a an F minor chord, you, you, depending on what inversion you want, you play an F, you play an A flat, and then you play a C, and then an E flat if you want. And so even if I get if I get this to sit in the pocket, it just doesn't sound right, man. 
I need a real guitar. If anybody here is a guitar player, hit me up, man. Record the loop and then send it to me. I really just want to reverse this. needs to happen a second time. It might not be it, but... That's not the right audio file at all. That was definitely not the right audio file. See, here's where why I'm missing stuff, because technically, if I had a guitar player, what I could do is, or I had a guitar and I had to play it, I could play the part full, nice and full sounding, and then I can even stack those or double those parts. So, for some of this, unfortunately, and this is, I hate to do this on a stream, but unfortunately, some of this may have to wait until I get this to the right person to play to. For now, this is what we have. Not even, I don't know, man. This 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 build into this job needs a lot of work. Maybe we'll add the the fat onto this one. No, oh, where is it? Multi uh, 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 come on, there we go. The fat effects. Oh god, I don't know what that did to that, but that does not sound right. Yeah. Just added a bunch of distortion, basically, to get out of here. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Kind of. You know, I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I don't like that, really. <laughs> Yeah, no, I really don't like this. <laughs> that didn't work out at well at all. So let's.
let's I don't know what are we gonna do. Um, I think we're going to replace this with a ride. This hat part. Honestly, that might just be the best bet. I don't know. We'll see. I know I got some good ride parts. So, ride instruments. This one's pretty good. The majority of this track would be guitar. It just doesn't happen though. I need to stop saying I need a guitar also, but yeah, hmm. let's see, let's add these back in real quick, let me at least add the strings in. I'm gonna kill this real quick. Yeah, I don't want to do... So, here's the thing. I'm not a... I'll be honest. I'm not a traditional, like, EDM thing. E EDM artist or, or, you know, I'm not your Skrillex or your Marshmallow or whatever. A lot of what I do tends to be more instrumental oriental, or instrumental, instrumental oriented. So having all of that stuff like isn't necessarily as appetizing to me as if I had just like a break here and then like a reverse sound, kind of like a like a like a like a mm. you know something like that almost. Yeah. Hmm. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. So listen from the beginning again. Doing like small nuance stuff like editing automation so
what I want to do. Kind of like. But I need to do that. Actually, let's do that real quick with the vocals. So what I can do is. Can do is. Cut it up. And. rejoin it uh i can like make a little a cool little vocal shop out of this so we'll experiment with that yeah i'll move it let's yeah okay let's see what it's up. so hmm. let's see what let's see what this sounds like Not really that interesting. If I if I could reverse it, I would reverse it. I can probably I can probably cheat and do this. Uh, I can put this into Ableton and reverse it, but then I'm flying blind because, or at least you guys won't be able to see it, unfortunately, because uh, OBS is only broadcasting my Logic screen. Uh, and it's too much to try and make it do both at the same time, and it might overload my computer. So, for right now, let's just... I'll just explain the process, I guess. I'll try to make it as, as least boring as possible. Essentially, what reversing does is it just takes everything you hear and takes all of your waveforms, and, line and on a linear scale, it it makes them move backwards. Uh, so like if you have audio that um, oh you know what do I have a no I didn't okay that's weird then um, if you have audio that rises and you reverse it it'll make it fall or if you just have a single hit and you soaked it in reverb then um uh you, actually it might be what i do essentially right here is i just make go maybe not that low yeah make it drop a little bit that didn't work then good good golly okay all right so if you have um, reverb on this, uh, essentially then, and it's just like a single hit, like it's just this, you can hear the reverb. So what I would do is, I would adjust the reverb to be how I want it to sound. So, you know, it would be like this. Actually, I may even cut this down further, so it's just... Actually, it needs to be quarter notes, sort of. Yeah. Essentially, then, what ends up happening is I bounce this as is. Right here. And... Put that into Ableton, and it just... It, um, the reverb tails off in this part right here. Um... When I reverse it, it'll it won't tail off anymore. It'll it'll rise. It'll rise into each hit. Because what I've done is I reverse it. So I'm gonna switch this. So add some more in. We're going to bounce it as is right now from Logic. It's a super difficult process. Uh, um, 
put it into Ableton, reverse it into Ableton, and see what it sounds like. It'll come out pretty cool, probably. The question is just, uh, does it come out appropriate? So that's the main one, we'll reverse it. Came out pretty cool. It was just a small matter of that little initial attack is just so obnoxious. And it's almost it's almost gotta be a really short vocal chop. And if I was a singer or had a singer, I could get them to sing something specific, and then I could make a specific type of vocal chop. Uh, since I really don't have a, much of a voice to speak of. Um, I can't do it myself. Might do, what we might do is this. We'll lower the hit of the, uh, the, the level of the initial hit. And then it'll sound like this. See if this works. It kinda did. <laughs> kind of. Kinda not really, kinda sorta. Alright. This is this should be the last time we have to do this. But then once we do it, it'll uh it'll it'll sound great and it'll kinda be a lead in, I guess to the drop and then the drop can be created again um, the drop can be created well it's supposed to have a lot more guitars on it still those for some reason those little things but I might have to just might have to manually do the fade or something that way and then that way I can it's just too loud I just needed to go down a little bit that's all <laughs> oh well let's let's bounce this out of Ableton now and then we will oh you know what uh, I have to adjust my bounce section stop that this is why it's a hassle working in two different DAWs. Each DAW has its own, uh, have their own hockeys and shortcuts, and learning all of them and being able to do so in a timely fashion is very difficult. Yes, okay, that works. Cool. Let's see how this sounds in Logic. Uh, first things first, delete those. Let's go back to the main part that we were working on real quick. Right here, and then we're going to import them. Import this little vocal chop that we created in. See what it sounds like. Fix it if need be. Uh, where is the box channel? There it is. Let's see. So essentially what we'd have is... Uh, actually, I gotta edit. Yeah, I gotta edit this little impact point for whatever reason. I can't get it to, to calm down. Come on. So roughly, here's what it sounds like. Oops. Uh, here's what it sounds like. Now here's what it sounds like. With the build. See, it just sounds weird, like garbage, but, um, 
I need I need a better vocal chop than out of the the instruments that I have, and I I might have something to work with in the packs, and I can look through them. But there's something like sixty different versions of it, so I'd have to I'd have to do a lot. But the idea is, you, I mean, the idea is there. You get the point. Let's see what we have. Let's let's we'll just check for real quick what we have like tonal one shots right here. Uh, doing what actually? Is pretty good i'll use that one and then well we'll do the same process we just did and this time we will try to when able to more slowly we will try to uh make it sound better because right now it just ain't doing it it just ain't doing it man switch this to what's my tempo project 130 something like that yeah 130 Okay, that's too many, too too much time in between. Let's see what. I think that's right. Nope, not quite. Let's try it now. And if again, if I had a, a custom vocal vocal chop, what I could then do is, uh, make it just make it. I don't know, like, uh, instead of just being a huh or like a, a regular a, a random noise, instead of it just being that, I could actually, um, why can't I? Oh, I guess I got two clips. Reverse them both. It's 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 there, but it's not. Does that make sense? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's a lot of this right now, and this is such a great sample, and I, I hate that it comes to this, but a lot of this is like, there's stuff that I can't physically add today. Um, I need to I need to reach out to some people I know, reach out to them about doing or, or adding stuff to this and, and you know recording on their own and then sending it to me. Um, which I've done before, but it's just so much easier to either have them on the stream with me or have them over to record, but with everything going on, it's just not safe, so. I don't even know what the heck. Oh, it's super quiet, that's all. It's just, yep, nope, it's just not gonna work. Not gonna work. That's fine. We will just remember that. Just imagine it's there. Here's from the beginning.
We'll probably add some toms here, honestly. can do is use this this vocal as a quick lead in as a reverse kind of thing but um that just, just that's just not gonna it's again it's just not gonna fly I'm telling you i need something custom made i think what i also want to do was we'll see how it sounds that the clap doubled on top of it the the main clap that we had how it sounds with that doubled on top the snare. Sounds gnarly. Oops, that was way off. Yeah. Just copy this over, and then uh, we'll also drop down the snare in there to mix it better. There's one specific frequency I'm hearing. It's like a tubby frequency. Tubby, fre tubby. Tubby. I think it's... Right there. I need to record a real ride symbol or at least a better sample of the ride symbol um, and that'll all come with time probably. Again, this is so empty because it needs, it needs like full guitars. And it's not meant to be, I mean, it can have some lyrics on it, maybe in this section. Take that out. It's not the... Oh, don't tell me. Look at that. It did it again. Of course it did. Good God. Really hate when the software does that. Apparently when I duplicate a channel, instead of editing the duplicated one... It proceeds to edit, for whatever reason, the one that was already there. Too bright. I need it to be dark. That's I don't know. It's just smooth play. How 
got a dirty plate. Nope. All right, concert hall it is. Get that super dart. We'll double it. I've done this before. I just don't like repeating, but we'll do it. That's gonna go. That's gonna sound kind of. I mean, it's gonna add another layer to it without having, you know, building snare and clap. It'll allow some build to it. faster do like yeah let's do let's start it here with and then we'll move this to, to quarter notes we're also gonna take out some of this uh um some of the low end it doesn't need to be super subby, so we'll just we'll take out some of it. We'll cut it off at like 125 ish, you know, ish. Not one of the one of the better uh, ones that I've worked with, um, better pieces that I've worked on, and that's simply because I'm just missing so much of what would go well with here on this. So um, I'm gonna play it one more time. Uh, it's getting to be about that time. It's late. I gotta eat dinner. Yeah, I gotta eat dinner. Uh, it's nine o'clock on the East Coast, and if you're tuning in, and it's like six o'clock on the West Coast, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play this one more time, and then we'll go raise somebody, and we'll call it a night. Is that a deal? That's a deal. All right. Um, here's what we got so far. Let it be known that I just need to recruit a guitar player and have them play on this. Something clean, something fresh. I'll get on it, though. You can follow me on social media. Um, the handles are D-R-I-C-H-T, the number 3-R. That's Instagram and Twitter. You can check out YouTube. You can check out the rest of the Twitch channel. Um, make sure you guys hit that follow button. Um, and I will see you guys next week for another stream.
Thank <laughs> you.